Colonel and members of the regiment, distinguished guests, members of the public, thank you all for gathering here today in Ormskirk in the borough of West Lancashire. We're even blessed by the weather. It says the sun always signs on the righteous and it certainly does in Ormskirk today. As your mayor, I am truly humbled to see the number of members of the public who have come out today to join us here together in honouring the brave men and women you see before you. This is the first time that the council has granted the freedom of the borough and in doing so, it recognises the conspicuous service rendered to the borough by the regiment and records the confidence, trust and friendship existing between the citizens of the borough and the regiment. It also grants to the Duke of Lancaster's regiment and its successors for all time the right, privilege, honour and distinction of marching through the streets of the borough of West Lancashire on all ceremonial occasions with drums beating, bands playing, colours flying and bayonets fixed. It is therefore with the greatest of pleasure that we have today signed the formal scroll confirming the freedom of the borough to the borough of to the Duke of Lancaster's regiment and I would like to take this opportunity to present the regiment with a plaque depicting the West Lancashire coat of arms. Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen of the Borough of West Lancashire, when you first considered granting the regiment your freedom, we could not respond immediately because all of our soldiers were then deployed overseas on operations in Afghanistan. Nevertheless, I have been told of the extremely generous way that you made a decision and the very strong message of support that you asked my regimental secretary to pass on to the battalions who were all then fighting very hard. I must tell you that the, that the fight was not without cost and we lost nine of our soldiers killed in action during that year. At the same time, over 60 of our soldiers were also wounded, a number of whom have injuries that will stay with them for their lives. This is the price that we pay for our service to our country, and I know that you are aware of it. I also know that by granting us your freedom, you want to send the strongest possible message of support to these soldiers on parade today, our regiment, and to their families who bear the trials of operations alongside us. On their behalf, I thank you most warmly for this. We have a very proud heritage dating back to 1680. The golden thread of our history runs on from the formation of this regiment, the Duke of Lancaster's regiment, back to our three fine former regiments, the King's Own Royal Border Regiment, the King's Regiment and the Queen's Lancashire Regiment. I am delighted that so many former members of those regiments are here today to see this parade. They too have earned your trust. The proof of the success of our recent merger is in the operational effectiveness shown by our three battalions. They have deployed five times on operations to both Iraq and Afghanistan. And on parade today you see the second battalion who have just returned from three years in Cyprus. They were on operations throughout 2009 and 2010 and were on duty there for 15 months 
and they can claim with some justification that this is the longest operational tour in recent army history. As well as the Freedom Scroll, you have recognised the close links that you wish to cement with us by the presentation of the most attractive drum major's sash. I am very proud that it bears the regimental badge alongside the coat of arms of the borough of West Lancashire. Every time this battalion parades, your coat of arms will be seen in the most prominent position leading that parade. Thank you very much for the sash and all that your most generous gift implies. We are very grateful indeed. In our turn, we wish to acknowledge our new formal links with this borough. And will you please accept two gifts from us? First, I will present a full-size replica of a Napole Napoleonic eagle that one of our battalions, our predecessors, captured from the French at the Battle of Salamanca almost 200 years ago. We have the original in one of our museums, and you can be assured that we will not be giving it back. <laughs> will you also please accept a second gift, and that is our regimental badge for display where you see fit. We hope that both of these gifts remind you of this great day and of the Duke of Lancaster's regiment's enduring links with the borough of West Lancashire.